Kia ora and thanks for joining us. Uh, with me today, I have Ilsa von Hirschberg, who is the Future Leader Program Coordinator at Lincoln University. Kia ora, Ilsa. Kia ora, Anna. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. So to start with, it'd be great if you could just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your role at Lincoln with specific relation to the Future Leadership Program. My, my role at Lincoln is the Future Leader Coordinator. I um, effectively look after the leadership development component of the Future Leader Scholarship Program. So there are a number of other people that work with the Future Leaders as well. I'm probably the person that works with them most closely. And my job is to make sure that through the three years of the program, um, they learn as much leadership skills and as much leadership capability as possible. With regards to the Future Leadership Program, what is the scholarship? Well, the scholarship is about growing leaders for the future. And our scholars learn while they're actively contributing to the university and the wider community. So like with all scholarship, there is a monetary component, but this scholarship also has um, an extension program to it. So students will get a certain amount of money every year as part of their scholarship program. Mm -hmm. But then aside from that and alongside Lincoln University runs a future leader extension development program where our scholars learn leadership skills while they're helping the community. Do you want to just elaborate a little bit on that um, just with regards to the leadership development components of this of the scholarship program? What can our students expect? Oh absolutely. So the scholarship um, program is based on the fact that we know that people learn leadership by doing so the program is very much co-run by myself and a student executive and has a number of components that see the students doing stuff while they learn about leadership. Um, so, for example, um, the components include a weekly hui. So once a week, we run a hui where all the scholars get together. It's an opportunity for them once a week to all engage with each other. In that time, they will get up um, individual scholars will speak about things that they've done. So they may have been to a conference and they'll give us an update on that. Some of them may decide to run a little role play or talk about um, a case study that they've written around leadership and they may run that with the group. Mm -hmm. They, um, We have regular components as well. Sometimes we get in guest speakers and sometimes I might do a leadership development session. That who we runs for two hours every week. And a lot of our future leaders say that it is their favorite part of the week. They absolutely love that. Um, they also do team projects. That's a very important component of the program. So throughout a scholar's tenure on the program, they will be working on projects with a third year scholar. When they get to their third year, it's their turn to select a project. And their project is generally around something to do with doing good in the community, doing good on campus. They have a lot of scope for freedom for their project. They run that project with the help of first and second year scholars that help them fulfill their project, but at the same time, they're also learning about how to run a project themselves. Mm. Some of our projects have been things like building classrooms in Malawi or Tonga. We have done a lot of work around mental health, in particular in the rural communities. There have been some initiatives around supporting um, suicide prevention initiatives in rural communities. We do some work with schools. Uh, it's really up to the third year to decide what their project will be. So they're different and innovative. And um, it's exciting every year to see how they are actually different. Um, another component is the Lincoln Connect Hours. Mm. And so what that entails is working, as you know, Anna, with, um, with you and your team. Our scholars work towards um, selling Lincoln University and selling the scholarship and the wonderful opportunities of Lincoln University. Mm. And so they learned effectively to be ambassadors for the university. They might, for example, help out at open day. And finally, um, the last component is clubs and committees. So as I said earlier, we know that people learn leadership through doing. So we encourage our future leaders to move into executive roles in various clubs and committees on campus and to learn by leading others in that environment. And in fact, some of our future leaders have also started some very successful um, um, clubs on, on, on campus. So um, it's all about action learning and it's very much about being student driven. 
So obviously our students are involved in some really awesome projects, initiatives, and as you say, developing clubs, um, et cetera. So what, in terms of outputs, what can our students expect to actually get out of the scholarship program? Well, I think, you know, firstly, I have to say that our scholars love the program, and I don't say that too lightly. They really enjoy it. As I said before, a lot of them find that the weekly hooey is the best part of their week. Yeah. Um, but aside from enjoying that and having a lot of fun with others, they will develop great leadership skills throughout the program. We see them developing great leadership capability. Mm. They develop an incredible level of confidence in themselves, their ability to um, achieve things that they didn't believe that they could achieve setting out of the program. Mm. I know speaking with the third years that quite often they, they're just astonished at what they've achieved. They would never have thought that they could achieve those things in their third year, uh, sorry, in their first year. Mm. And, they make lifelong friends. They, um, and, you know, and they have the satisfaction of knowing that they've they've made a difference, that they've done something in the community or on campus that's made a difference. That's a fantastic program. So, for people who are out there and perhaps considering an application or considering um, throwing their hat in the ring, what are we looking for when we select students to be part of this program? Well, we're wanting students effectively who can focus on supporting others and taking responsibility for their own actions mm. um, because ultimately the program is about creating a more just world while at Lincoln but also as they move into their future careers. So we want students that are open-minded, mm. we want them to be prepared to challenge our pre-existing ideas of what leadership is. This is a servant leadership program so we focus on um, them having the ability to serve others in their community, maybe even wider, the planet, the environment, society. Um, we're certainly looking for leadership potential. So we do take an interest, obviously, in leadership positions that they've had in the past. So, for example, they may have been prefects, sports leaders at school. Um, but actually, while we take that into account, we're much more interested in understanding what's important to them mm. and how they take action on what's important to them. So we want people that care about something. It can be the environment. It can be working towards reducing and poverty, supporting their local community. Um, and then we would like them to share that with us in their application. I think that's a really key point for our students and um, our, our wider community to understand is that we're not just looking for the head girl or the head boy of the school, we're looking for those students who have got that leadership potential. So thank you very much. So with regards to the application you've just mentioned, so for our students out there, what makes a good application? I think firstly, um, people that get a good application and other people that do spend some time on it. So mm. we can see that straight away when we open the application. Is it just one or two lines or have they written um, maybe a page mm. um, in answer to each question? Mm. So um, I strongly suggest that they, they really should include a list of the activities where they have provided a service. So this can be, for example, as a prefect at school, they've provided a service in some way to the school, but also it can be in the community as a volunteer. And what you said before about, um, you know, prefects or having been a prefect is so relevant. We have some amazing future leaders that have been head girls, head boys and prefects. And equally, we have absolutely amazing future leaders that have not had leadership positions at school. Mm. So we really need to know... Um, what it is that they're doing outside of school is actually really important as well. So if they have any initiative, things that they may have decided by themselves to take on, start a community project that they've done by themselves without um, any support necessarily from the school, we're really, really interested in hearing about those sorts of things. Um, we want to know that people have the potential to come up with an idea follow it through and make that successful in the same way that they would with their third year projects. No, that's great. And, and that's really, really valuable information for our students who are out there. I guess just one more point uh, for people to know is, is there is a huge amount of information with regards to our Future Leader Scholarships and all of the scholarships at Lincoln on our website. So you can go on to the lincoln.ac.nz website, click on the apply tab, and then that drops down to show you all of the information um, with regards to what Elsa has spoken to us about today. So thank you very much for joining us, Elsa, and for sharing your knowledge with regards to the, the scholarship.
You're welcome, Anna. It's been lovely catching up with you. Thank you. So if you do have any more questions or you would like to speak to Ilsa or myself uh, further about these scholarship programs, contact your careers advisor and they will uh, link you up with your liaison officer from Lincoln University. Thanks again, Ilsa, and take care. Thank you. Bye.